working his way into spawn right now. But like you mentioned, it really does feel like Knox are onto this one. However, your boy Dre is actually able to pick up two kills. Do they expect Mina in the side is the question. He's able to get one, does dash away, but no, a proto actually headshots him immediately there. And oh, this is looking actually pretty promising for LG. Two on two situation, full eco for them pretty much. And a proto, he's able to take down the boom bot. The play is developing, but Equ Equinox are there to clean things up. 2-0 start for them. Look like they will be going for that. Imagine the Omen can anchor on B just in case. Has the from the shadows to quickly mosey his way back towards A. There's no moseying happening on the side of LG, as especially as Texas there is the first line of defense. Is it already able to clean one up? Continues to push the matter forward. Your boy Dre takes care of Q Fat Boy as Tex continues to work his way forward. The spike is going to go down. It's dropping down to a 2v1 in favor of Luminosity. Showstopper in tow. Yeah, what can DXN do here? Last two players just playing around the site. Spots one, gets him. Is the trade there? No, not quite yet, actually. DXN still weighing the situation. Does have a feeling that moves his towards elbow, and he is right on the money. Three Ps for him on the round, and Equinox continue to build upon their lead. They're just using so much utility, but he does get pushed off. That's going to allow Luminosity to take, to take really their pick of where they want to go. Yeah, they have a lot of space. Tex, though, is here to greet them. Nice spray from Tex. Oh, no. he gets a third. How does he take down Stellar as well? Your boy Dre is able to find a couple there. I can't believe Tex got that many, though. But your boy Dre will be challenged by yet another, and the rotations are already in for Equinox. A proto, he made his way all the way through A, but he'll be stopped, stopped by a smoke. He's got a sheriff. He's got a filthy shot, but that filthy shot's not going to be on display as Mina disposes of it. A little, little maybe flash and dash, a little something, keep a close eye on the paranoia. Forget the paranoia, he doesn't want it. He goes in anyway, he's able to get one with the showstopper, and the rest of the team is able to continue. As Steve T is able to take care of Tex, he gets all the way into the backside, and now it's on Equinox to try to retake this thing. But oh. there's already so much utility keeping them at bay. That shot from DXN, though, headshot right through the dark cover. Massive, it helps him out so much, but... The Lurk on Lurk is there. A Proto takes down Cute Fat Boy. Mina's quick to respond. The Rolling Thunder is out. See how the retake plays out. And Moose can't capitalize on a falling Mina, which just leaves Thief now in the 1v1. Oh, and Thief is able to find the three piece. LG get their first round on. They're going to blast their way in. There's a wall. It's not a complete wall, though. There's going to be a hole. They can provide serious firepower from up in heaven. And that's exactly oh. what Cute Fat Boy's doing. He's already gotten two on the round. Mina's creeping his way closer and closer with the blade storm as DXN gets one as well, but it's a proto from the top rope. He gets three hits with the filthy flank and makes this possible for LG, a 1v2. This feels like a much needed round for either team, a swing round one would say, but oh my goodness, the way it starts, Thief just pressing on forward. He's gonna keep taking the duels. Oh my God, Thief. What is this guy made of right now? Just completely handles middle on his lonesome and he wants more. He smells blood in the water. It will be stellar, though, to finish off Cute Fat Boy. What a swift round spurred by Thief. It out. All right, let's see how LG played this one out. A lighter buy from Equinox, but it doesn't seem to be a problem so far. Pancake's able to get one. Your boy Dre trades it out, and the res has been used to put numbers back in favor of LG. They have a couple of ultimates still to work with. Once again, it's Pancakes who has to go huge. He's not even going to get a chance. He was super weak, too, and how, how do you handle that? With, with death, I suppose. It's the only uh, reprieve you can find in the round. DXN's trying to make something happen. Mina will get shut down, though. And round. Let's, uh, let's back off this time and make him come to us a little bit more. And there they go. A good adaptation. DXN is able to make it a 5v4 situation now. LG, they have to try to pick up the pieces. Couple smokes swing out. There's the Q. The showstopper comes in. It's gonna get traded, but the damage was done. As cute fat boy is able to get one, you heard the rolling thunder used as well. The red carpet to let them into the site. Once again, Equinox on the flank. They get two, but a proto from the same spot we saw him just a few rounds ago, causing problems. This time, Mina's not expect Equinox to go big, but if LG can take a couple of rounds away, you flip the map on its head, and that's certainly gonna help. For one trade. Oh, it's just cute fat boy now towards this B site. He's got so much to do. Can he find anything? Oh, and wow. Stellar calls that out. Catches him mid teleport. 
And now LG are in a three on three situation. The spike's not planted just yet. And Equinox, they're rotating over. They want to still keep going with this one. Yeah, but they have two members so weak. You know, I mean, you almost can't even see their health. It's really just Pancakes who's in a healthy spot to make something happen. But LG, knowing that the spike is down, have assumed safe post plane positions. You see Stellar, good crossfire there, and your boy Dre just on the bottom of ropes. He doesn't even have to deal damage because Moose gets one text, however, flies across the site, gets one of his own, but Stellar with three. Oh, there's the Empress. The wall's gonna go up as well to cause problems. We'll see if they continue to challenge that way. They do pancakes drops. LG should have control of A. There are still two members there. However, and it seems like LG have spotted them out. Tex able to get one. Tex gets a second, looking for the third, just narrowly missing it as a proto gets the best of him. You hear the neural theft has been used as well. LG managed, should get the spike down. Oh, 1v1 all of a sudden. DXN though. He may not know where Stellar is. No, he thinks he's in the corner right now, but he's getting flanked. But oh, the reaction from DXN able to close this one out. See Equinox still kind of wanting to go that way trying to go that way as steve goes aggressive on amina able to land those shots and get that kill meanwhile equinox busts through the wall and it looks like they want to go over towards b the camera's going to spot one member out but the gig is up they know exactly where they are the paranoia was used but it doesn't tag anyone as stellar swings and gets a kill one enemy remaining Oh, and Luminosity are breaking this down so well. The rotations are there. The utility was greatly favoring their chances, but if they find these two kills in a spike plant, I think that can be considered a win for them in this round. Moose is here to defend, though. He's right behind the site. He's able to get two, and your boy Dre is there to clean up. Still, two kills for Equinox. Not bad with the minimal investment for LG. Oh, man. All right, Tex gets one. Moose trades it out. Good bit of utility used early on. Those light weapons seeming to be exactly what they needed as they're able to clear clear up really everyone on the side of Luminosity and get onto the site. Spike, left. but Spike Thief planted. on the flank made his way through ropes. Now he's arrived at the site, lands the shots on a cute fat boy. He's going to heal himself up too. Meanwhile, a proto, his partner in crime, up from heaven. It does get cleaned up. The Rolling Thunder was used as well. Thief swings. It doesn't matter. Tex with three. A thrifty round win. Ladies and gentlemen, we're tying side as well. Tex just waiting on the other side of the wall. He's got a couple of blast packs. It looks like he's going to try to nade out the back of the site. This is certainly where they want to go. Here's the trigger. It's being pulled. The flash, the dash. They get onto the back of the site. But Tex drops early on. Doesn't even get to use the showstopper. Oh, that's so unfortunate for Equinox. Now they're just getting picked apart. They never could actually even get into the site. They threw, they threw down the cloud bursts, but they're stuck between a rock and a hard place now. I don't even know what they're going to do for their approach. They have to try to find something here, but every single player from Luminosity is already rotated into position, and no one from LG is even moving at this point. They have full confidence in this setup, but DXN, oh, wow. perfect shot under your boy, Dre. That is the opening they really needed. Yeah, a little bait with the Cypher Cam, and then you swing. That was perfectly timed. A really good paranoia there as he follows it up. Not able to get the shot, so as he gets sucker punched. LG have the numbers advantage here. Pancakes has a chance, but Moose takes him out. LG. Sorry. There's that showstopper that we talked about. Tex feeling confident, feeling good, tries to get his way in. His teammates are dropping left and right around him. No Tex able to get one. Proto trades it out. Cute fat boy. Still up in heaven. It's a 2v2 here. Moose gets one. It's down to Tex. We talked about him early on. A showstopper is going to be traded back out. Doesn't look like it's been used yet. It's just buying time. The paranoia is there too. Tex is a sitting duck, but somehow blasts his way out of a terrible situation. And it, it is still in a spot to make a play. Yeah, he's stuck at screens right now, and they know he's here. If they're able to play off of each other, Luminosity may be able to break this one down with their numbers advantage. And the double swing comes no out, but they don't actually take him down. Tex is able to find your boy, no. Dre. He gets Moose as well. What a round from Tex. It was not pretty. No, these players are usually so good to connect. It's Thief and a Proto again. And look at that. This is why you don't challenge them. Three kills immediately. It's just down to Tex. But just text might be just enough. Oh man, three kills for him. That continues to tick away. Equinox have moseyed their way 
Up towards heaven, take a look at your boy Dre with the swing, but Tech snaps on and Moose trades it out as a proto on the other side of the map. Gets in on the action, Equinox just down to two. LG in firm control here. Moose tries to get away with something fancy. He's not gonna get the chance, but there's the Rolling Thunder that we talked about. Cute fat boy getting two. Drop things down to a 2v2. The spike is gonna go down. V from up top gets one, dismisses his way out. Certainly still possible, but DXN drops. Luminosity are going to get the defuse, and they're going to take a one-round lead. Man, that was so... Will they recognize that, though? Oh, Mina has such great position already. He can't get the kill just yet. All over the site, though. DXN is able to get one. Your boy Dre does fall back. I know exactly. Tex using the showstopper. The neural theft is going to be used as well. And look at the aggression, creating so much space and making it so easy for Equinox to be able to get the spike down. That's exactly what happens as DXN gets it down. But cute fat boy gets one, looking for more as the last two members of LG drop down from the rafters. DXN playing around the pillars, a little ring around the rosy. Cute fat boy gets one. It's just down to a proto who is normally the right call. There we go, a little flash, a little dash, a little spice. As Equinox try to get onto the site, but Thief, a proto oh. and your boy Dre, stuff it! They don't even give it a chance to oh. go up, and then the wall goes up. They're just sitting ducks on top of that. The spike has made its oh. way onto the site. There was nobody in the vicinity of Thrifty. Equinox has been playing Cypher over by A alone, and oh. in the previous round, they swung him back to B, but he's over there too, which suggests that they're going to try to get their way through mid into ropes back towards A. Yeah, and now that they know a proto is towards B, they're, they're, Equinox is playing the avoid a proto game. Luckily for I... LG, he's rotated over to A now, and Thief, he's right in front of Pancakes. As soon as the smoke dissipates, he gets one for free, and now all three players of Equinox, they gotta bust their way out of heaven. This is looking so desperate for them right now, but Mina's able to get at least one. Now Thief, he's right beneath them, and the time is running out. Thief's able to get Mina on top of that. It looks like Luminosity are gonna take this all the way, and your boy Dre finishes it off with a kill on a... ...pulling over the rotate. That's exactly where the hit is. They've gotta be getting over there now. This set play from Equinox just worked out wonderfully. This is, uh, they're all over it, and there's no response, actually, from Luminosity. Equinox, with the weaker weaponry that they brought into this round, this was just an excellent call from them. Moose will try to recover it for, it looks like it will be the A hit. Deep is close, though, and he can do it all himself, but only finds the one. But will they affect the other player in A main is the question. Neural theft, giving everything away. Boy Dre gets tagged up knowing that the Neural Thruff was there. DXN just able to drop a Shock Dart into his lap and clean him up. It sounds like the spike is going to go down as well. Moose looking for a little something. Nothing doing quite yet. Pancake swinging up. Shoots one right in the back. Stellar trades it out, oh. however, and Stellar gets the last one. They take the site back. Oh. Rotate all the way to B. There are so many players now from B or at B. That A is free for the taking. Look at this little QB sneak. They just lulled him to sleep and then tried to slip one right out from under him. Thief was there. He is able to get one waiting to see when Tex would rotate and he walked right into his lap. But Equinox has been able to get onto A. They're going to get the spike down as well. I love the aggression from Mina pushing the matter, following the drone, but Stellar gets the kill. The Hunter Fury is going to be used. DXN, the last one standing in a 1v5, and he's a dead man walking. Luminosity, a flawless round to bring the gap down to one. Wow, that did not work out for Equinox at all. They did about, I don't know, eight good, but he's being pinned from multiple angles. It's up to him and Moose. Moose only finds the one. Now it's all a proto in this situation, but the paranoia is right on top of him, and that will make things so easy for Tex. He hits that shot all day, and he takes down Stellar as well. Equinox using that mid control to the fullest effect. Yeah, then getting onto the site, cracking it open, although it's not quite over for Luminosity. They have a couple of players. You see your boy Dre pulling back into market, waiting for the reinforcements to arrive. Thief shows up, takes care of Dixon, drops things down to a 2v2. The spike continues to tick away, so LG is not just playing themselves here. There's a third man, so to speak. The Leer, the dash, your boy Dre gets into the back. He gets one. They clean them apart. They take the site back. Could change their setup based off of that information, but it looks like they're comfortable keeping steady. 
yeah, you said it best. They're just steadfast in how they play the defending side. Even with that information, you don't see a ton of moves. You don't see any quick adjustments or over rotates. They're comfortable with the setups that they have. And well, why wouldn't you when you've got Thief on the site with the Empress? He's already gotten two looking for the third. Dashes away. Mina trades it out. Thief drops as well. That's the second on the round for Mina. 3v3 as the spike has not gone down yet. Oh, that's a great shot from a proto there. 2v3 situation. Getting the spike down will be so difficult, especially when you're dead. DXN taken down by Moose, <laughs> and Q Fatboy receives another bullet to the to this site right now. He's made it all the way near heaven. I'm interested to see if he decides to contest into that position because usually in these kinds of situations, you need a little bit more ground. Tex was trying to fight it himself. He falls. Mina, though, on top of the generator, is able to find your boy Dre, and it's a four on four post plant. This thing's going to be a bloodbath. Proto up top, spots a player, tags him up, but oh, DXN with the buck, he rips his face off! Pancakes gets into it as well, a 3v2 in favor of Equinox. Spike has gone down again, DXN continuing to go, honey looks for the second, <laughs> tee it up and give it to him, baby! The Bucky rips LG apart! With that save, Odin, but he can't find anything just yet. Spike is being planted so early, the Hunter's Fury is out doing some good damage. DXN's able to find the opposing Sova in Moose, and now it looks like an even better situation than the previous round. Maybe I spoke too soon, though. There you go, Maui. You jinxed it. DXN on the swing. Dink Stellar and cleans him up. Mina up close and personal. Not even able to get one as a Proto trade set out. A 2v2 here. A Proto. Weak. As Lex gets... As Tex gets pushed back. Both members of LG are just so weak here. DXN gets three, Tex gets the last one. Equinox continue to push the lead. And it looks like Equinox are going for the full on A split. They've got cat control. They're making their way through A main. Mina bursting onto the site and Pancakes takes out your boy Dre right in the side of the head. Mina as well takes down a Proto. Door is shutting, but Tex is on the other side of them to greet Thief with a beautiful headshot there. And he's going for more. I can't even catch my breath. Yeah, he's got, they just created so much room for him that he just continued to push members of Luminosity back. Equinox in firm control here. They've gotten the spike down. No reason for LG not to try something flashy, and that helps. But Q Fatboy trades it out. It's just down to Moose. He's got a little bit of utility here. No ultimate, no, no big trump card uh, or health. For that matter, Equinox on the attacking side. Best day that should give LG the advantage here, unless the two members on the site can hold fast. Pancakes gets one. Your boy Dre trades it out. And Pancakes looking for more. Yeah, that's the dink. Gets a second. Not able to get the third, but that buys time as now the cavalry is arriving. Now the reinforcements from Equinox are starting to show up into a 2v2. Spikes being planted. A proto has a great camera to give him and his teammates some information here. But really, this is all about playing around the site how can they play off these angles in order to help each other out it's a well-timed nade doesn't look like it'll do too much the approach commences mina and tex have to try to get into this one your boy dre was a great angle but tex just eliminates him immediately and mina as well try to get onto the site the drone is going to be used early on a kill on the opposite side of the map as they go a bit aggressive it's traded in kind as a proto continuing to anchor back by b all right, DXN, he's got the Ares right now. He's able to take down a Proto. That's a huge kill. Buys him some time, and now he can fall back. Recon Dart's going to come out. And at this point, LG, they're rethinking things. And they have a lot of time to do so. So this isn't really a bad option, just fading away at this point. Moose, thanks to that collected orb in the previous round and the spike plant, he actually has the Hunter's Fury, but he will mm. hit the shot instead. That's going to give them access onto the site. They're going to close the door as well. The other members of LG start to mosey their way over the spike in tow. Moose down in hell. Stellar assumes, along with the rest of LG, their post-plant positions. Equinox trying to create some, some room, drop a couple of smokes, and deny information. But LG are just so well-placed right now. They also have the Hunter's Fury as the ace in the hole. Your boy Dre, though on the sideline for the rest of the round in this 2v2. He's got to connect with this one. DXN is able to trade him out, but Stellar is still there in A main. Good cleanup there. Yeah, it looks like LG are just 
all in, going for this B hit at this point. There is some great utility from the opposing Cypher, though, to slow them down. And Pancakes, he's hitting shots on top of that. Gets one headshot onto a Proto. Mina is finally here with the knives. He's able to find one. Looking for more. A second kill from Mina, actually. But Thief's there to greet him. He's able to dismiss a way back into market. But he can't recover the situation. It's now all down to Moose. And he runs out of HP. The rotation was there for Equinox. They will be greeted by several. Good paranoia there buy some time and create some space but you see the members of lg slip their way in through tree room but again equinox seem to be able to hold it off just fine they have the numbers advantage it's just down to a proto with the sheriff no fancy heroics this time equinox get to a and dxn looking to be more successful tagged a couple of members not enough to get the kill but equinox did drop one player already yeah, and that's a big kill. Anytime you take down Tex, that's a lot of firepower now missing on the side of Equinox here. And Luminosity with half HP on a couple of their players, they're looking to reroute. The rotation was already coming in from Equinox. It would have been a pretty bloody battle to try to get themselves through the door there at B. But oh wait, they're coming back. They have manipulated the rotations, but oh, what is this? Equinox actually seem to have figured this out. They're already rotating back in. And the all-out brawl towards B seems to commence. Oh boy, here we go. It's going to be a banger. They dash their way across, oh! but Mina rips Dre out from the skies. What a shot. Holy cow. Equinox are ripped apart, but LG trying to trade it back. Oh. Mina with three. He has also got the Blade Storm. Equinox looking to make a statement here in this final round. It's just down to Stellar. 49 health. He's going to get paranoid. You see Mina up top dashing his way across as they continue to hunt Stellar down. Put the finishing touches on this bad boy. Equinox crushed Luminosity on Ascent. Oh my god. Mina, the shots there were so impressive. Cypher camera we on to make sure that nobody's home. And it looks like they should be able to get on to B relatively easily. Yeah, they'll just be met by just DXN. And he is actually smoked off the angle. The shock darts will come out. Actually, Tex wants to take the fight to them immediately. He takes down the other Reyna and Thief, and this retake is on before it even really seemed like it could get started or even prep for LG. They are getting swarmed all over the place. I don't think LG were ready for the swiftness that Equinox just hit them with. No, man, they just held W. They just ran at them. You saw Mina like with hey, Equinox, or excuse me, Pancakes with the pistol. Not able to do anything. He's going to drop. Looks like members continue to funnel in. There is one player on the flank. Take a look at your mini map. Mina sniffing it out. As the Sova's back there, Tex gets the opening shot. The spike should go down. Oh, wait. This push from Tex, though, comes in. It was looking like an opportune time, but there are just too many bodies here for Equinox to deal with. Now, Mina will try to find something. Thief souls but the leer comes out the counter leer from tex and he's able to take down thief once again he has had his number this game and he continues on to find stellar on top of that dre trading him out the spike is still not down as lg are now starting to get that bad boy going mina just on the other side creeping his way forward dashes across the shots are there cute fat boy getting one early on Oh, and this is just becoming so difficult for Luminosity. There's too many bodies here for them to deal with. But Moose, he actually takes down one with the Shock Dart. There is a world in which he's able to do this, but the spray he's slipping. Oh, Tex actually getting call caught out there, interestingly enough. I think that was his own teammate's Hunter's Fury, actually. But Mina was able to get the first kill onto a Proto. That's a big kill. And it looks like... Luminosity, they want to take this towards C. There's a couple players here waiting, and you always have to worry when Tex is on the site. Moose, the tip of the spear, cute fat boy, giving him a little shoulder, a little something to think about. Eye candy, but it's Tex. You talked about how devastating he can be. He's already got two, looking for the third. Your boy Dre trades it out. Cute fat boy swings, but it does not matter. LG get picked up. Through middle at this point. Tex, though. Oh man, he's here to greet them, isn't he? This is the worst. Oh my <laughs> goodness, Tex always finds one somehow. And Cute Fat Boy with a couple of kills, three kills for Cute Fat Boy. I was wondering where that second player was for Equinox and Cute Fat Boy. I mean, 
he has risen to the occasion. He's sitting on nine kills right now, if I'm not mistaken. And now a proto in the 1v3. Trapwire oh, actually... Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's getting the heck out because he understands where that tripwire was. He's going to plan it down at B. He's outnumbered. But if a proto can isolate these fights, he's got a chance at this thing. We've talked about how devastating, how just filthy a proto can be. Cloudburst to retreat to safety. Meanwhile, LG understanding what likely occurred on the opposite side of the cloud burst go in a bit aggressive as they try to create some space mina does not miss you give him a chance to hit him twice and he punishes you for it pancakes gets one as well mina with the second on the round the third for equinox as lg managed to get onto the site no it doesn't even look like the spike will be planted before the push comes in stellar now in a 1v3 and he will be taken down. Equinox clean into this round later on, but Thief will try to entry here. Hex, he's thinking it's his time to strike. And how does he get a proto? A proto definitely hurt him, but he still wins that fight. And now Pancakes in the back of sight is going to be working alongside his team, leaving just two players of Luminosity to try to win this one. But Moose now, can he get it done? Well, that helps. He, sw he got one and spotted another. A 1v2, cute fat boy delivers the shots to take Equinox to 7. Are connecting in a way that LG just cannot handle, but they will be tested. Oh, the paranoia was there, and that's huge. A boy, Dre, gets flashed. He doesn't connect anything. Onto the showstopper. His tech swings out, gets one cute fat boy with two. You talked about not challenging them, and you exactly see why a, a brutal round for Equinox by time. Of course, as I say that, you see him jump up in window. He's going to get punished for it. Pancakes takes him out. It looks like the spike should go down at the hands of cute fat boy. Well, I spoke too soon. Oh, the retake is on before it even begins. Your boy Dre comes up big with a couple of kills. And the LG side is able to hold on there. In what was looking... Oftentimes, you'll see teams on an eco when they have pistols or just scraps. Again, they rely on this chaotic play, but Thief's just ripping him out of the skies. He gets two. He gets three. Your boy Dre gets in on the action as well. It was light gun power, and you're seeing that payoff as you would expect. Thief has gotten behind enemy lines. He hasn't peeked that window, but the spike has gone up. Such a good paranoia as it tags up three. There's Thief. His spot's been given away. It was a little wombo combo as they rip him out of that window. LG still looking good. We we have something on our hands here. Yeah, they keep. Mina's got a chance. Oh. No, no, Mina does not. Moose gets two from up in heaven window. And Equinox just continuing to get pissed, picked apart, excuse me. They're probably a little pissed too, given how this round is going, but LG in firm control. Okay, that's one. Cute Fat Boy takes down Thief. Now they're on the site. Can they find more though? Moose, he's got the shock dart ready. Actually, we'll pull out the recon to help this retake out. And through the smokes already, as a spike is just not even planted yet, Luminosity seemed to just pop off. Thief, he wants to do that here. Gets one on Mina, looking for more. Tex is all around him. Dre actually bails him out with a showstopper there. And now Fatboy does respond. Pancake swinging. He just gets absolutely taken out. The neural theft is there. Pro gets a second one. It's just down to one. Cute Fatboy managed to get the spike, managed to get the heck out, but they know exactly where he is now. He's not even going to get a chance to get the spike down to 3k. The spike will be planted. Now, five on five retake. LG not quite in position yet to start this retake. They have to move on closer. And Mina, he's here to greet them at the window. The entrance to Garage of Proto gets one. Oh my gosh, how does he get both? And your boy Dre gets one as well. They, 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 the defuse is starting. They are obviously very comfortable playing for the retake on C as it's worked multiple nice. times now. And, and in very him for making any plays early on. Cloudburst there, the spike's gonna go down. Mina understands that there's a player up there as they continue to rotate around. Pancake's trying to make his way forward. And we've talked about it as soon as the Q goes in, LG flood, and that's exactly what happens. Moose hangs true from up in heaven. Ladies and gents, LG are at match point. This just bodes so well. As well as they death ball their way over by C. 
Again, there's that Cypher Cam utility. They're so comfortable playing on retakes on C. Equinox looking like they're trying to hit up something hot and heavy. A quick flash, a quick dash. The Hunter's Fury is going to be used as they try to get in on the site. You saw a cheeky little flank attempted uh, from LG, but nothing's doing. The other Hunter's Fury is going to be used in response, and Moose is far more effective as he's able to take care of Pancakes. The spike is not down yet. Oh man, they have to battle themselves out of this situation. No Taxi's been fire, but that's it. Wait. LG on these retakes has been 